safety footwear with a protective midsole protect what will safety footwear with a protective midsole protect you from nails or sharp objects which could puncture the sole of your foot or is feeling stressed when is the best time for them to address the issue only after the stress level gets so bad it causes an accident as soon as they realize they have symptoms of stress. In about six months, if the issue is still causing them stress, when they have finished work and they are away from the workplace. And errors are most likely to occur in... Accidents and errors are most likely to occur in which type of situations? Taking medication correctly. Misuse of alcohol and drugs. On an empty stomach. Drinking energy drinks. Misuse of alcohol and drugs. A worker with a full UK driving license has been asked to move a machine they have never been trained on. What should the worker do? They can move the machine as they have a full UK driver's license. Explain that they are not trained and competent to move it. Move the machine as long as there is a vehicle marshaller. Move the machine as long as there is no one else near it. Explain that they are not trained and competent to move it. What would be a good way of reducing fatigue in the workforce? Rotating shift patterns. Random start and finish times. Regular start and finish times. Early start times and a late finish. Initials HAVS stand for. What do the initials HAVS stand for? Hand and ventilation system. Heavy arm vibration system. Hand Arm Vibration Syndrome Heat and Ventilation Syndrome Hand Arm Vibration Syndrome What is one sign that employees are feeling stressed at work? Increased productivity on site High staff turnover rates Fewer accidents on site Long term staff retention rates do if your disposable foam earplugs keep falling out? What should you do if your disposable foam earplugs keep falling out? Throw them away and work without them. Put rolled up tissue paper in each ear instead. Stop work until you are shown how to fit them properly. Put two earplugs in each ear so that they stay in place. worker is fatigued, what could happen? When a worker is fatigued, what could happen? They are more likely to resign from their job. They are able to work with increased accuracy. They will be more likely to have an accident at work. They will be able to work faster and be more productive. They will be more likely to have an accident at work. risk does this worker face by using this tool on a regular basis? Caused by using heavy equipment. Dermatitis from repetitive use. Viles disease caused by the dust. Hand arm vibration from prolonged use. Hand arm vibration from prolonged use. What does it mean if you have to twist or turn your body when you lift and place a load? You must wear a back brace in this situation. The weight you can lift safely 
will be more than usual. The weight you can lift safely will be less than usual. Mean if you have to twist or turn your body when you lift and place a load. You must wear a back brace in this situation. The weight you can lift safely will be more than usual. The weight you can lift safely will be less than usual. You will be able to lift the same weight as usual. Five company vehicles. Who should drive company vehicles? Any construction site manager or supervisor. Anyone with a learner driver permit. Any employee who is competent and authorized. Any junior apprentice workers. Any employee who is competent and authorized. Fatigue could affect work rates of a worker. What does this mean? Fatigue could affect work rates of a worker. What does this mean? They will work consistently as there are no issues. They will work more slowly as they will feel tired. They will be able to work faster as they will have lots of energy. They will work at the same rate but will need monitoring. They will work more slowly as they will feel tired. Should you do if you need to wear ear defenders but an ear pad is missing from one of the shells? Take an ear pad from another set of ear defenders. Leave them off and work without any hearing protection. Do not work in noisy areas until they are replaced. Put them on and work with them as they are. Do not work in noisy areas until they are replaced. Can the damage by exposure to noise over a long period of time be reversed? No, unless medication is used. Yes, if you have an operation. No, the damage is permanent. Yes, if you change jobs. It is permanent. No, the damage is permanent. A wheel comes off a trolley you are using to move a heavy load a long distance. What should you do? Drag the trolley on your own for the rest of the journey. Carry the load for the rest of the journey. Ask someone to help you pull the trolley for the rest of the journey. Find another way to move the load and complete the journey. Ask someone to help you pull the trolley for the rest of the journey. Main reason for ensuring safe manual handling techniques in the workplace. To complete the job quickly. To prevent personal injury. To satisfy the client's requirements. To prepare for safety inspections. What is the main reason for ensuring safe manual handling techniques in the workplace? To complete the job quickly. To prevent personal injury. To satisfy the client's requirements. To prepare for safety inspections. To prevent personal injury. When selecting suitable personal protective equipment, PPE, for the user, which factors should be considered? Fit and weight, price and size, cost and colour, size and fit, size and fit. Work outdoors in bad weather. Why should your employer supply you with waterproof clothing? To protect you from the weather, which will reduce trips and falls. To protect you from the weather, as you are less likely to get muscle strains if you are warm and dry.
following is true of clearing waste to maintain a tidy site. Clearing waste should be carried out at the end of a ship. Construction sites are dirty anyway and do not need clearing. Construction workers are not responsible for clearing waste. Clearing waste should be a continuous process. Move a load that might be too heavy for you. You cannot. You need to move a load that might be too heavy for you. You can try to lift it using the correct lifting methods. Lift and move the load quickly to avoid injury. Get a forklift truck, even though you have not been trained to use it. Do not move the load until you have a safe way of doing it. You do, if someone near you is using noisy equipment and you have no hearing protection. Ask them to stop what they are doing as it is disrupting other workers on site. Carry on with your work as you are not the person using the noisy equipment. Speak to the other person's supervisor to stop them making the noise. Leave the area until you have the correct personal protective equipment, PPE. Ring to protection. What is a high UV rate green designed to protect you from? Legionella, sunburn, dermatitis, abrasions, sunburn. Best way for a worker to avoid becoming stressed because of an overload of work. Make sure they take medication before going to work. Put up with the extra work, but make sure overtime is paid. Speak openly and regularly with their manager or employer about workloads. Only do what is manageable because someone else will pick up the extra. Speak openly and regularly with their manager or employer about workloads. Lone workers are most at risk from what? Humiliation, paranoia, sleeplessness, violence. Cause occupational dermatitis. What can cause occupational dermatitis? Contact with another person who has dermatitis. Working in the sun without sun cream. Using tools that vibrate. Contact with some strong chemicals or substances. You used to clean very dirty hands. Soap and water. Paraffin. Thinners, white spirit, soap and water. When might people suffering with mental health issues need help at work? They will regularly need help to avoid them having a panic attack. Up to once a week to take some of the strain off them. When their site supervisor or manager says so as and when a situation arises in which help is needed. As and when a situation arises in which help is needed. When you start a new task, how will you know if you need any extra personal protective equipment, PPE? By looking at your employer's health and safety policy. By looking at the risk assessment. You will always need it by looking at the company web page, by looking at the risk assessment. You need to lift a load that is not heavy, but it is so big that you cannot see in front of you. What should you do? Move the load on your own. It is so large that anyone in your way is sure to see it. Get someone to walk next to you and give directions. 
Get someone to walk in front of you and tell others to get out of the way. Ask someone to help carry the load so that you can both see ahead.